Hi, and welcome to this fourth episode of our all-time favorite topic, Android development. Okay, let's get started and let's make coding great once again. So since we are done with the uh, circuit image views and they look really nice as you can see in here, let's take our app a little bit further. Let's add some code to support the notion of maps and location surfaces. And to achieve that, my friends, perhaps we need to change the concept or the idea of the app in the first place. So how about we change the app into a list of Oman's forts and castles? And so, to be able to turn our movies app into our castles and forts app, let's modify our code and let's follow these steps. Step one, update the model class. So the first thing is this. Let's change the model class into something called fort, for example. So let's refactor that. Okay, so rename, and then from movie to fort, click refactor, and select everything and accept it. And the next thing is this. Now we need pretty much to delete everything the uh, old model class has. And let's have some new properties in here, which needs to be relevant to, the, uh, to our new app idea, which is about force and castles. Okay, so let's have these uh, properties. So as you can see, we have a fourth name, place, the fourth establishment here, the image name for the fort, the latitude, the longitude, and the fort description and a ticket price. So, the key new additions are these two things, latitude and longitude, because those of you who use Google Maps, they would know that this will pinpoint the location of a certain fort or castle, and that will give us the chance to be able to navigate uh, to that fort or castle. All right, okay, so now let's do the usual. Let's have a constructor and let's have some getters, okay? So we need to have two constructors, by the way. The first one is select none. Now, my friends, this is extremely important. Why? This is important for Firebase to be able to function properly. Okay, so this is important for Firebase. Actually, let's add a comment for that. So this is so Firebase can function properly. Okay, and now let's have the second constructor. So command N, select constructor, and then select everything, and then okay. All right, okay. And after that, let's have some getters, okay? So again, command N, select getter, select all of them, and click okay, enter that. Okay, so here's our newly redesigned model class up and running. Step two, update the local data method source to reflect the new data about sports and castles. Okay, and the next thing to do is to update this method here, or indeed to repurpose it altogether from the movie related data into some force related data. Okay, so the first thing is let's uncomment it and then let's delete all of this data, okay? Let's make sure that we leave this line here because we would need it later. But first, let's actually rename the name of the method. So let's rename that, refactor, rename, and then just replace the word movie into port. Click enter. Okay, and then Let's go to the definition of this adapter, uh, which is right in here, and let's rename this class here. Again, refactor, rename, and then fort adapter, and click enter. Select all, and click OK. Right, OK, and here we are. So now we have sit sample for data, even the object here is being uh, renamed. Okay, so let's put in some code, shall we? Okay, so here's the first two lines of code. So as you can see, 
uh, we're making an object of the model class port and we are passing in some data using the constructor so here's the uh, port name the place the year of the castle establishment this is the image name we will add them later here's the latitude the longitude and here's some description and finally at the end here's the price if you are following me please make sure not to write these variable names port name port place blah blah this is automatically written for you so the word port name in there is being automatically written for me i did not write that what i did write is this the things between quotation marks or the numbers okay right let's continue with the code okay right okay and can i just highlight two points if the establishment here is unknown i've just put zero in there and if it is before christ this is what i've written so for example minus 3000 plus bc bc before christ okay and some of you might wonder where did i get all this information from and the answer is wikipedia i just simply googled it so let me show you okay so i went into google and i've written something like and here's the first result from wikipedia it's only in arabic but that will do okay so we've got some really nice table in here with lots of information so the first thing it says the castle name the construction year or the establishment year the place the status whether it needs renovation or not here's some picture here's some description and here's the latitude and the longitude and then what i did was i simply took all this information and then i translated it and then that's it here we are okay done step three save the castle related images into the global folder okay and so the next thing is let's download some fort and castle images from the internet and let's save them all in the drawable folder okay so here we are obviously i've downloaded these from the internet so let's copy them all and let's save them into the uh, drawable folder okay. and here we are so now we have some castle images so let's take Look at Al Jalali Fort, for example. And here's the Bahla Fort. Step four: update the rest of the main activity. Okay, let's now update the main activity. I'm sure there are some methods that need some correction. So here we are. So let's change this into get fort name and this one here into uh, get fort place and this one here get establishment here and this one here get fort image name and similarly we also need to change this right okay but this one is really interesting why because remember that we have three different types of values for the establishment here so if the establishment here is known we have something like this 1588 and if it is unknown we have zero and if it is before Christ, we have a negative number. So for example, minus 890. So let's take care of these three different types. Okay, so we need to replace this with a simple if statement to take care of these three different cases. Okay, so here's the code. So if the, the first one, if it is zero, so we're going to say unknown. And since this is a string literal, we should not, we should never mix text with source code. And so we can fix this using out and enter. Okay, so extract string source. And let's just give it the same. Okay, right, and that should do it for us. Okay, and so the next thing is this. We need now to call this method here and make sure to stop reading from firebase simply because we don't have data yet saved on firebase relating to uh, the forts and castles so we need to call this method here okay and so by the way we can just comment this out if you want to okay we don't need it anymore so let's just comment it but if we leave it 
it's not gonna cause a problem right okay step five update the detail activity including updating the notification related code next let's update the detail activity okay so again we have some methods here that need corrections so get fourth name similarly let's have get fourth name in here and this one get fourth place uh-huh uh, let's skip this one for now uh, for the description again let's get fourth description and for the price let's have get ticket price i think and for the image name similarly let's get fourth image name um, for this one let's copy the code from here so let's copy this and let's have the code in here so notice that instead of hold that tv movie here we need to use this one here so let's replace them let's replace these two i'm replacing them with this one here and so now i don't need this did i could just delete it right okay next let's update the notification related methods so again instead of get movie name get fourth name and instead of the get movie here let's just keep it simple and let's have get fourth establishment here and instead of the word movie let's have port or cancel port this one is one and similarly we need to change this and to get fourth establishment here right okay and then finally let's correct this one here so instead of get movie price let's have get ticket price and i think that should do it right i think so okay so now let's run our code and let's see what we have and yahoo things seem to be working very good fantastic okay let's test it so let's go to al jalali fort for example which is by the way located in masqat and was established in 1586 let's check that good that seems okay here's a description and this is the price let's try to buy for example two tickets of that and let's try to book a fort ticket so we will correct that later okay and if we click that button we get a notification saying thank you for booking two tickets of this 1586 Ford for three reals good okay so let's go and correct this one so instead let's have something like book for ticket okay and as you can see this is now given in red because i don't have a value for that so let's correct this using alt and enter and let's have something like buy ticket click ok to that and hopefully that should fix the problem so let's rerun our app again this time let's try al mirani fort and uh, as you can see that is now being corrected and finally let's get out there and let's make coding great once again thank you and happy coding <laughs> Oh, I don't